Well, I'd like to say good morning, folks, and welcome to the vlog. <coughs> but it's not morning, it's two o'clock. I've been another naughty boy and got a load of work done. Got a load of work done before I picked the frigging camera up. So we're actually about to transfer the beer. Jack is washing out the mash tun. And I've pretty much got one half of this uh, table. Check that out. That's just about finished. So what we're aiming to do now is put the top on. I've drilled and countersunk a load of holes and tapped them also. We've got the base cut for underneath the stainless steel and if I just pop you onto the tripod and stick you over here all the pumps are whirring away of course so you'll just have to bear with us while that happens so yeah you'll be able to see now the final touches going into place so this is the stainless lid which sits atop the table and once we've got this uh, screwed into place then we will um, go ahead and push it back into position so all these screws should fit nicely into these tapped, tapped and counter some holes and then that will hold the top onto the frame also hold the joint together that we've got over here and on top of that we have to go underneath and put some timber packers in just to kind of uh, raise up the timber so it's at the bottom of the table and supporting the centre if you get my drift I'm sure you do you're a clever lot so that's that one in, and that looks like it's going to sit flush. I haven't managed to get any stainless steel machine screws yet. There we go, that, that worked nicely. And uh, the hole lines up, that's fortunate. fastest process in the world mind. The screws of 40mm are a bit long. So there you go. You get the drift. I'll not bore you with the details. We'll come back once we've got that beer and the pumps turned off and uh, this first bit in place. So we've got the kettle rinsed out. Everything's down the drain. The beer's in the fermenter. Cha ching so that's all the brewing we can do this week everything's full until we get the new fermenters up and running I've set a piece of angle on this third leg here to enable me to fix down this stainless and then talking of stainless we've had the order come in from GC supplies always a fantastic service folks and uh, well it's the start of something big this is so we've got valves, butterfly valves, two inch and one inch ready for the build on the new tanks. We've got 90 degree elbows, we've got T's for the pipe work, we've got, oh yes, now I'd like to thank Jasper from Brewery Life for giving me this idea. But uh, we're going to start at some point in the future, not quite yet, harvesting our own yeast. So I have bought a sight glass, yes indeedy a sight glass, and yeah, this is the, it's heavy, a diaphragm valve. I've never had one of these before, so this bad boy is what Jasper used on his video showing you how to harvest yeasty poo I'm sure you remember seeing it 
So that is the diaphragm valve closed, I believe. There we are. So if we look down, down inside, you'll see there is the silicon diaphragm just at about two o'clock on the shot. And if I start winding the lever out on the other side, you'll see it starts to raise that silicon diaphragm, thus allowing beer or whatever to come through. And it's absolutely 100% sanitary because you can, of course, uh, well, the only moving part is a piece of silicon going up and down. It's fantastic. So we're going to have that in line. God, it weighs a ton. We're going to have that in line with the sight glass and some takeoff hoses so we can start to inspect the yeast cake and save the yeast and harvest the yeast in sometime in the future when we get these five other tanks up and running. So we don't want to do it now because we've only got three tanks and that means if I harvest yeast out of those three tanks it's going to be sat in storage before I can get to brew with it which wouldn't really work. You want to be pitching it pretty much straight away from the yeast cake. So I'll pop you back on the trapod and you'll see that the next job I've got to do is complete that section of the stainless steel bench. The rest of it looks pretty snazzy though, I think you'll find. Check that out. Oh, and right on cue, every day, every day the beautiful Gemma arrives to take my car away. You're trying to hide behind the uh, freak I stand no chance of hiding behind that. So, uh, you come to take my car away. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen the stainless steel table? Looks very good. Anyway, I've just told everyone this. We'll cut that, that cut. I've had to pull the framework out to get it finished. It's very difficult to do in that little corner, but it's nearly there. Just one or two little pieces to finish. So we're going to go and head home now, but uh, we're going to go via Billy's, he didn't manage to come and get the grain, but apparently he's got some goodies for us. Let's go and see what Billy's got. Hmm. Like a dog with a big stick. Ugh. 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 I never thought this was going to be this awkward. Right. We've been to see Bill, or at least his sister, and uh, this is what a year's worth of grain gets you, eh? Hey? Shall we have a look what we've got, Jem? Shall we have a look what we've got? Because some of it looks mad. It wants chilling or freezing straight away, mind. So. Everybody will recognise these bad bees. Bad bees? Bad bees. <laughs> <laughs> Start again. Everyone will recognise these bad boys. Some trotters. What do you reckon to them, Abs? Oh, hey, it's Babe Pig in the city. <laughs> uh, but nice piece of meat on there. Look, that's a hock. So we can get that, cut it off there, cook the hock, and feed that to Chance. He'll like the trotter. I'm not a big fan of the trotters myself. There's another one there. So that's two front legs. And then we've got some, oh yeah. It's a lovely couple of chops in there. That's two chops. In here, this is a nice bit, by the look of it, of leg, bone in the middle. What we've got here? Bit more leg, that looks like shoulder to me. Some ribs, skin on. Hey, very good, very good. Oh, look at that. That's a proper roasting joint, that is. It's even been sliced up for crackling gem. Look at black hairs on it, Abby. 
It's an airy spiglet. And then we've got, uh, this looks like some belly pork. When are you going to do the head? In a minute. More chops, more chops. We'll put all the chops to one side. Chops, ribs, belly pork. And then uh, if we've got to the other side, here, we've got, there's a bit of kidney in there. You can see that bit of kidney. And maybe a couple of chops. There it is, that's kidney. More chops. He's a good lad with chops, isn't he, old Bill? More chops. This here, that looks like a bit of neck. Look at the fat on that. Look how thick the fat is on that. That'll render out nice. More chops. And we've looked at the leg, we've looked at that leg. This is the bit that Abby likes the look of, isn't it, Abs? Oh, yeah. So if you look that side, there's his ear. You see his big ear? Look. It's funny. And there's his snout and his mouth, look. And turn it round. It's funny. There's his teeth, it's his funny. tongue, his eye socket, and back of the neck. That's the pig's head. I'll probably get flagged up on YouTube for showing this now. And then what else have we got? Bingo, more chops. More chops. More chops. Oh, he's a good lad. More ribs. Big piece of ribs there with some belly pork on it. And finally, another roasting joint. Oh, well, that's me covered in blood. We've got to go and get the deep freeze out now. I might plug that chest freezer in that I've got down uh, down the bottom and uh, put all that in there, I think. What do you reckon, Jem? Sounds like a plan. It's a job, isn't it, Doug? It's a job. So we've got the old chest freezer out of the shed. Jem was just cleaning it up a bit. I used to use this to store hops in, believe it or not, when I had like 10 sheds in the garden. Can you remember that? Sheds. It was like all these, all this grass here was sheds, but uh, I've given up on the shed front these days. I've got a big brewery instead that sort of does it. That's kind of like a big shed these days, isn't it, Gems? Oh, yeah. The brewery. So we'll get the meat in here. Hopefully it freezes up. It feels like it's getting chilled already. So fingers crossed that works. And then uh, we'll get all the meat in. Hey up bud, Hiya. have you seen the pig's head? No. Yeah, look. So this is the whole pig's body? Can you tell it's the head? Yeah. Look at his snooty snoot on the end. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to look at the crackling on that. I know, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, it is. Don't get touching it mate, because might, there might be blood on outside the bags. Oh yes, so it looks like we won't be going vegan for the next six months anyway. Mm. Oh well, never mind. Right, I think we're just going to move this meat then guys and uh, I'm waffling now. Uh, so I'll get this e vlog edited and up and on the system for you and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow when hopefully we get that stainless steel shelving finished. See you then. Chicken to rice. Chick, 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 chicken to rice. Yeah, I'll have a kick of that. At the minute, I'm just going to do this ham. Because I'm standing in the kitchen and I think my food's real nice. That's why I'm chicken to rice. I'm chicken to rice. Hold on, I've just got to change the water in this ham hock. Oh, baby. Chicken to rice. We got football again today and I was... Chicken to rice. I was playing in that because... Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. Come on, Dom, sing it now. Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. That's it, Dom. Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. Chicken to rice. You're on camera. There we go. <laughs>